guys welcome back to my channel I know it's been a really long time since I filmed I think it's been probably about a month since I put up a video um, and that had nothing to do with makeup or anything it just was my Juvederm injections for my nose which by the way just a little update for you things have finally healed there's no more bruising no more swelling and I absolutely love the results and if you guys want to check out the Juvederm injection video and just the whole process in the interview with Dr. Charles I'll have that link down below for you so you guys can check it out. But as far as filming, I know that I said I was going to have a little bit of a life update video for you, but when I really thought about it, I kind of felt like it would be a little bit too personal. So I'm just going to give you guys like a little like overview about what happened and why I haven't been filming and why I took like a six month break from filming. Um, during the Christmas holidays, my ex and I did break up. And I ended up moving in with my best friend Brittany and her husband, which I'm so grateful for because I really feel like if it weren't for them, I would not have made it through that breakup. And I just wanted to focus on just myself and getting myself back to the way I used to be because I was extremely depressed and just not in the right state of mind to film. Like, I just, I didn't have it in me to do anything. So... I lived there for a while and um, my best friend actually ended up getting pregnant, which I'm so excited the baby's due in November and it's a girl and they're going to name it Margaret and I'm just so, so excited and like kind of sad because it feels like yesterday we were just in kindergarten together and now she's going to have a baby and I'm like, oh my god, <laughs> we really are growing up and it's like, oh, Whew. anyways, let me stop before I start crying. But yeah, um, I did move back to North Carolina to good old home sweet home. I did move back in with my parents and I wanted to get my room situated before I started filming again just because it was like a hot mess and I didn't know where anything was. I just found my studio lights and my charger for my camera, my SD card, like it was just all over the place. So I got everything situated. I'm not sure if this is how I want my room to stay. I'll probably end up rearranging it and then doing maybe a room tour for you. Back home, I'm really praying that I don't have to move again for a while because moving really sucks and I hate it and I don't like packing. I don't like unpacking. I don't like putting together furniture. I don't like it at all. Just nothing about it. Yeah. This look right here that I did for you guys, um, it is a kind of like a simple date night look. It's not too intense. It's not too smoky. It's very feminine, very fresh, very glowing. Got a little bit of a highlight right here and just, you know, soft pink lips, curled hair, just basically everything a girl needs to do or wear like for the like the perfect date night. Of course, you don't have to do it like this. You can recreate your own, which if you do, go ahead and tweet me with it. I'll put my Twitter down below and you can also tag me on Instagram as well. I will link that for you as well. This is just something I came up with. I basically just filmed myself getting ready and if you guys want to see how I got this look and want to see more videos like this, then please like this video. Don't forget to subscribe and just keep watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! Alright, so we're starting out with primer today. I'm using my Smashbox Pore Minimizing Primer. I absolutely adore this primer because it really helps fill in the pores and makes my face look extra flawless for the night. I'm then going to be using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. This is for combination oily skin in the color True Beige. I know that my body is a lot darker than my face, but that's just because I don't self-tan my face because it tends to break it out. But I promise when I finish with this entire look, everything's going to match, everything's going to add up, so no worries. Hakuna Matata. I'm using a Sigma F80 to apply this foundation today just because I really, really like the finish that it gives my skin, and it helps cancel out any type of redness as well. For concealer, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. Um, I think this is in the color light, but to use this, I'm just going to put it in an upside down triangle on my face underneath my eyes, and it really helps give an instant eye lift. A lot of people result to plastic surgery, but you really don't have to do that if you just know how to apply makeup. You also want to add this to other parts of your face as well just to even out that highlight or else it can kind of look a little off when you set everything. So just using a beauty blender, I'm going to blend all this in. I'm going to still do the upside down triangle motion underneath my eyes and then I'm going to blend it out on my eyelids as well. And the reason I put it on my eyelids is because this is also going to act as a primer after you set it for your eyeshadow. 
Usually, using the Maybelline Fit Me Powder in Porcelain, this is an excellent dupe for MAC Emphasize. If you don't want to go out and spend that type of money on a sculpting powder, you can always buy this. You can also buy some other stuff from the drugstores as well. I'm just going to be using that to set all of my concealer. And then I'm going in with the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil Bronzer. I absolutely love this bronzer to bronze with. I'm not going to be using this to contour though. I'm just going to take a big fluffy brush applying that all over my face and then after that I'm going to go in with the Anastasia contour kit with a more grayer shade to actually contour. You don't want to use anything that's too orange to contour your face just because shadows really aren't orange. They are gray. So I'm going to just bronze my face and then I'm going to contour. So with the Anastasia Contour Kit, I just used the middle shade because it does have a more grayer tone. And then I'm going to actually sculpt out the cheekbones, sculpt out the nose, and yes, my Juvederm Injections. I absolutely love them. My nose is much straighter. There is no more bump, and it's a lot easier to contour as well. I'm going to apply that underneath the bottom lip as well because it actually gives a more poutier look. For highlight, I'm using the Becca Highlight in Opal. I am dying to get Jaclyn Hill's new highlight, but I haven't gotten it yet, so hopefully soon. And I'm just going to take a little duo-ended brush. I think this one's from Mally. Just anything that's not too heavy of a brush to apply the highlight, and I'm just going to put that on the cheekbones. You can use any type of blush that you want. I just picked a pink blush from e.l.f. These are like 2 to $3 at Target. You cannot beat that price. For eyebrows, I went on ahead and did that off camera, and by the power of editing, there we go. I'm then going to go in the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. Uh, I think that's what it's called. Not the second one, but the actual first one. It's got more of warmer tones to it. And just using kind of the orange color, I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and put that all over the crease. And just continue to blend, blend, blend until you are satisfied. Using the more reddish brown and the darker brown kind of chocolate brown color in the palette. I'm going to put that all in the outer V just using a MAC brush. I can't remember what the name of this brush is called, but I will have it listed down below for you. And then I'm just going to put that all in the outer V. If you're having trouble with making a clean outer V shape, whatever it's called, <laughs> just start off doing it in dotting motions and then blend out everything. It makes it so much easier and then you don't have to apply any tape. You don't have to use a tissue. It's just way easier this way. Then just taking that same fluffy brush, I'm going to blend everything out so we don't have harsh lines. Then I'm going to go in the Maybelline Infallible Eyeshadow. This is called Amber Rush. You can get this at the drugstore. It's fairly cheap and extremely pigmented. I did not use any type of MAC Fix Plus for this today because I didn't want it to be all va -voom on my eyes. I wanted it to be a very soft highlight type color. I wanted it to look just very pretty, very feminine. So I just apply that all over my eyelids with a flat shader brush. You can also use a Q-tip if you want to, or even your finger if you just wanted to do that. And then I just blended everything out so it didn't look so harsh. Using kind of the purple shade from the palette, I'm going to take a flat definer brush. I believe this one is from MAC as well. And I'm just going to put that right on the lower lash line. And then after I do that, I'm going to go in with a pencil brush and just blend everything out because you really don't want your lower lash line to look too harsh because it can actually make you look really sleepy. Going with the two highlight shades, I'm going to just take a highlight brush and just put that right on the brow bone and also in the inner tear duct. It doesn't matter what type of mascara you use. I didn't film this part for you because it really just doesn't matter since we're going to apply fake lashes anyway. I just use the Ardell 116s. These are one of my favorites. They look very natural, very pretty, very feminine. And I just applied those to my upper lashes. Going in with the lipstick, I just picked any baby pink. You don't have to pick a baby pink if you don't want to, but this is the L'Oreal Color Riche Lipstick in Merino Mauve. And I just applied that right onto my lips and it just gave it a really softer look. To finish everything off, we're going to apply some Urban Decay D Slick Spray just because, like I said, I'm very oily and this helps keep me matte throughout the day. If you guys liked watching this video, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. And don't forget to get your friends to subscribe as well. Bye, guys.